If you've been in the crypto ecosystem for a while and play in Axie Infinity, you know that gas fees have been one of the final barriers stifling growth, making it incredibly expensive to convert your SLP to Ethereum. I've made videos in the past addressing the cheapest possible way to convert SLP to Ethereum, but even the cheapest possible way for non-Binance users still incurs hundreds of dollars in gas fees, and that's all secondary to the congestion of the Ethereum network. But Axie Infinity has been working hard and has finally released their own decentralized exchange called Katana, allowing you to swap tokens right inside your Ronin wallet without any Ethereum gas fees whatsoever. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Katana, Axie Infinity's decentralized exchange, to swap tokens right inside your Ronin wallet without incurring any Ethereum gas fees. In a future video, I'm gonna cover how to add liquidity to the liquidity pool so you can earn Ron token, but that is not in today's video. Without any further delay, let's jump right into it. First, you should know where to find Katana. The URL is right here. Also, you can find it in the description down below. And when you go to Katana, this is the home screen that you're presented with. But first, we're gonna look at the Katana docs. It's at this URL right here also down in the description of the video below. And the Katana docs has some great information here that you're going to want to refer to. Let's first go to Katana Dex Basics, and you'll see if we scroll down for the Katana Dex Basics, when you're using the, the decentralized exchange Katana, you first need to connect your Ronin wallet. Like anything with any Web 3.0, you connect your Ronin first to interact with that Dex. And as we scroll down, you're going to need to agree to the terms and conditions, and you can read up on what those terms are, but basically it's allowing Ronin to use these decentralized exchange features. And as you scroll down, it will tell you some information when you connect your wallet, like how much AXS you already have in your wallet. And uh, so that pop-up will appear there down below. Before you go ahead and swap any tokens, you will first have to approve those tokens to be used by that decentralized exchange. So you'll see there's this little blue approve button that you'll need to first click before you do any swapping at all. And as we go down further, you'll see there's like a liquidity pool. We're not gonna get into that. That will be for another video. But if we go down to swap, you'll see that when we swap tokens, first you'll select the token that you would like to swap. So let's say you have a bunch of SLP lying around, you wanna swap it for ETH, then uh, your SLP will be the token that you're swapping, and you'll select the token that you would like to swap into. We're gonna do an example of that in just a moment. And if you've never used a decentralized exchange before, here's some terminology that you, be, you should be aware of for decentralized exchanges. So there's a liquidity provider fee. This is pretty common among decentralized exchanges, a 0.3% fee that you'll have to pay to make that fee occur. Uh, luckily, you don't have to pay an Ethereum gas fee, so you're gonna save a ton of money, but this is about the same fee I think you'd find on Uniswap, so that seems pretty fair. And then routing just tells you about the route that they have to take to make that exchange occur. Price impact, I'm not really gonna get into that too much, but basically if there's not enough volume to allow your transaction to proceed at that price, then the price might fluctuate a little bit to make that transaction occur, but that's more of an advanced topic, so don't worry too much about that. So I think it's most helpful to just go ahead and do an example. So let's say you're a scholar and you would like to swap out 50% of your SLP for ETH and 50% of your SLP into AXS, which I would highly recommend. If you're a scholar and you can go ahead and swap some of your SLP for AXS and then go ahead and stake it in the platform, there's a link up above. I already made a video on how to stake your AXS. Not financial advice, but if you believe in the future of Axie Infinity, it may be a really good idea to stake your AXS for that good annual percentage return. And uh, you can watch that video up above, as I mentioned, to figure out how to do that. But first, let's go ahead and swap our SLP. So we're going to swap half of 350, so that's 175, and we wanna swap this into ETH. So you'll see it says WETH, that just means it's wrapped ETH. Wrapped ETH is just basically the same thing as ETH, it's just ETH on the Ronin network. So we wanna swap into ETH, half of it, because maybe we want to buy axes or buy something within the Axie metaverse. So we'll select SLP to WETH 175. It'll tell you 
after the 0.3% fee is taken out about how much you can estimate that you would receive. So we'd receive around $12 of ETH, which the balance is about 0.004. So hopefully you're swapping a little bit more SLP, but that's fine. So we'll go ahead and hit swap. And then here's those details I mentioned previously. So it shows you a little bit about the provider fee that you have to pay, which is uh, pretty low. And then also the price impact to make sure that, you know, the price isn't changing or fluctuating too much. Don't worry too much about this information. I'll go ahead and update price. And then we'll go ahead and confirm the swap. When you confirm swap, it's going to ask you to go ahead and confirm which signs the transaction. And that pushes that onto the Ronin blockchain to allow this transaction to occur. So we're gonna wait a few moments and then that transaction will go through. Okay, and it gives you the check mark confirmation that that went ahead and that swapped. So this is actually incredible. I'm so impressed with this system and not having to pay ETH gas fees is gonna save so much value, which is gonna go right back into the Axie ecosystem. So we want to also swap 175 SLP for AXS. So same thing, you just change the bottom token to the token that you're interested in. So in this case, it's AXS. We have 175 SLP that we want to swap into AXS. It tells us about how much AXS we can anticipate what we receive around $12 worth. You'll see that the fee is a little bit higher for the AXS and that just is all a number that's determined by the liquidity pool, by de determined by how much AXS is currently staked and how much liquidity is currently provided in AXS. So we'll go ahead and swap this. Here's some of the, the details, of course, and we'll hit update price, confirm swap. And now we have to go ahead and once again, confirm and sign that transaction that we want to swap that 100, 175 SLP into AXS. And just like if you're sending axes or you're sending something else on the Ronin network, you wanna open up your Ronin wallet to see that transaction. Sometimes you'll have a drop transaction if the network is possibly congested or maybe Axie is doing updates in the background. So you'll wanna pay attention to that interaction to make sure that it does go through and it does say success. So I'm still waiting for it to update now. And there it is, it says success now. So we go ahead and hit close. And then now when you open your Ronin wallet and you go to assets, you should see the amount of AXS that you just swapped into. And that's how you use Katana, Axie Infinity's decentralized exchange to swap tokens right inside their Ronin wallet. In next week's video, I'm gonna show you how to add liquidity to the liquidity pool to farm Ron token. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next week.